All right. Welcome to Super Mario Odyssey. Assist mode? Yeah, I think that mode lets you have a friend control Cappy. Or it's the easy mode, one or the other. Either way, they just get right into it in this game. Oh, damn, okay. That, that, that's not the result of a skipped cutscene, it's just... Yup. Alright, well, get right to it. Things aren't going good. <laughs> and what about all the plot that we're missing from um, Mario Sunshine and Mario Galaxy? Mario <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh! Stole some K. Rule tech. He sure did! Wow. Bowser talks in this game, by the way, but it's not as horrible as in Sunshine. They really jumped right into it, like, you know, Peach has a, a, her own living hat thing. Yep. And they're just like, alright, you know. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh no, Mario is dead. He's gone! You know, I think every good Mario game starts with that. Or at least all of the ones that I know are good start with this happening. Paper Mario, this. Oh, yeah. It's the truth of life. Mario has to get owned for the game to be good. You heard here, any game where Mario doesn't start out owned is a terrible Mario game. Yeah. Like, you know, Paper Mario 2. Mario 3, I know. I kind of fucked myself over there, huh? <laughs> So, this game is incredible. I wish I could explain why, but if you just look at how the, the character is moving, you can probably see the, the level of control and movement in this game is incredible. Speedruns of this game look like they're from another planet. They look like Mario Galaxy? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> The any percent route for this game is under an hour. <laughs> so Bowser's decided. Well, you'll see. This is the Cap Kingdom. Pretty cute place, right? Very Nightmare Before Christmas, yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of people pointed that out. I was like, yeah, it does look like a lot like that, huh? I'm glad I'm not the only one then, I guess. It's very interesting for a Mario game. I oh, remember, it's only gonna get better. I remember thinking to myself, it's like, after Galaxy, like, they literally can't go any bigger than that. So it's like, what are they gonna do next after, like, going throughout the entire galaxy? It's like, oh, they, they go throughout the world. But it's like a really interesting world. Yeah, it's like a really fucking weird, uh... Oh, here we go, the mechanic! Oh, it's so much fun. So... Oh, go on. Do you remember Epic Mickey? Oh god, yeah, does it remind you of this? This or reminds it's... me of what Epic Mickey, like, almost wanted to be. Like, just this area. I imagine the rest of the game isn't like that, but... Where it has, like, it's a very interesting, dark aesthetic. Oh yeah, for sure. Just randomly remembered that. Anyway, sorry. I like all the posters for Bowser's wedding. Uh... <laughs> That he's put up here very conveniently. Alright, we're about to get introduced to the central mechanic. I think you know what it is, right? Yeah, yeah you put the hat on stuff and then you control it. Yeah. Oh no. What the fuck? Ooh. Frog PNGs in this cutscene. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they really went for it with this game. What the hell? <laughs> uh -oh. 
You can, Me too. You can hear Mario pretend to be a frog. <laughs> Look at the frog. Look at the goat. Is this <laughs> still Charles Martinet or...? Yes. Of course. Every Punch-Out character. Yes. <laughs> well, on the SNES, anyways. So yeah, it's just like Galaxy there. You probably played that one. Get the temporary extra HP. If you run it out, uh, it goes away. Anyways, I don't <laughs> think you've seen these yet. I'm about to really disappoint you. What? You know the only, uh, there's only one Mario game, 3D uh, Mario game I've actually played. To, 64, in, right? In good detail, Mario Sunshine. <sighs> I, I understand now why you avoided the other ones. Anyways, Honestly, like, <laughs> like they look like they're fine. I just, I, I couldn't get into Mario 64, and then Galaxy, I was like, I don't know, someday. I just don't do a lot of single-player gaming, honestly, nowadays. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyways, these are the Brutals. Like, the only thing that stopped me from playing this game is just that I probably wouldn't have find enough time to play it. It mm -hmm. actually looks really fun. So, um, these are Bowser's Wedding Planners. They're a bunch of maybe Irish rabbits? That are all dressed up dapper. So the the theme is hats. So basically, this was uh, this is definitely Nintendo's attempt to cash in on Team Fortress too. Oh yes, of course. I remember that that phase where everything had hats. This game is funny because you know how you have to put the hat on things to capture them, um, and they explain this in a really early Treehouse, I think. But it's always it always makes me laugh. The basic premise then became. If an enemy or a character can't be captured or is meant to be harder to capture, they just put a hat on it. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> amazing. Means, like, there is a dog with a hat that you can't capture, and it's just a Shiba with, like, a fedora, and it's got little ear holes for the ears. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> you can't capture it. It's too powerful. No, oh, you can't do that to a dog. It'd be too cruel. This game just goes too. You just start. Mario seems like he's in great pain. Like, physical or emotional whenever he's transformed. Yeah, he's, uh... He's, he's getting over it. Alright, this is the first level of the game. The first real level. This is the Cascade Kingdom. It's, it's really pretty. It's amazing that Switch was the first console in a long time where they actually, like, really tried with their graphics. And right? It's, and it's also portable, which is just, like, insane. I think they missed that shot just to get more of this music. <laughs> so, uh, normally when you collect moons, the fanfare isn't that big, but when you get one of these story moons here... Um, the game does this to indicate that you got a important one. Ah. Whenever that happens, something big will happen in the world or something small. Story missions, basically. The game's a way of breaking those apart. Look at this level. Ah, oh, it's so cool. It's really small, though. It's not a very big level. Oh yeah, the airship, by the way. It's a big hat. <laughs> of course. Look at it, yeah, there it is. Oh shit, okay. One thing I gotta say, when a Mario game has an aesthetic theme, it leans into it very hard. Oh, for sure. But I, I appreciate that it's so forward with it. Well, so this game treats power moons unlike stars and shines where they're like, oh, these are like really big central to the importance of our world. Power moons in this game are just like, it's kind of like electricity, I guess. <laughs> anyway, here's your second capture of the game. This. Uh. uh yeah. All right, why not? Let's just go right into it. Yeah! I don't know if you saw the E3 trailer, this is in it. I don't remember this. Yeah, there's a T-Rex. 
You're supposed to use the chomp to get that, but this game is pretty nice about giving you multiple ways of doing one thing. Ah. So they're not going for the kingdom coins. I guess I'll have to explain those. So I said, when, it, when, when the long play is meant to be like just getting through the game, a lot of the side stuff that you would explore and see kind of gets overlooked. But at the same time, it's like, if you did that, this game would increase in play time. So it's like... How long was the other one? Was like eight hours? Yeah. And I don't know if that was 100%. I think 100% of this game is like 10 hours. Jeez. Once you know where everything is. It's not, not really that bad, but... Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, I love these. So, cool thing too about this game is that there's like a shitload of costumes in the game that you can dress Mario up in, and they actually did do 8-bit sprites for all of the costume sets. <laughs> and when I say a lot of them, I mean a lot of them. And when I say deep cuts, I mean like Satellaview, if you know what that is. What? Yeah, you know the that thing for the Super Nintendo, that the BS thing. Oh, that a, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mario's Picross. Like, if I go down the costume references, uh, let me look up the Mario Odyssey costumes just so I can just run down the references while you enjoy this amazing boss. The big chain jump with the pink hat. There we go. <laughs> Gonna knock the hat off first. Forty outfits. Jeez. There should be a page in the Mario wiki for this, right? Oh yeah, there's a Mario's Picross Explorer costume. Uh, Mario has a scientist outfit that's a reference to the Japanese Super Game Boy commercial. <laughs> he has the golf outfit from Mario, the, the NES Open Golf. He's got the chef hat and suit from Yoshi's Cookie. He's got the Mario Paint Artist Painter's cap and outfit. Jesus Christ. There is a there is a straight up low poly Mario sixty four costume in this game, which I think I showed you. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. There's also a Metal Mario costume of that same kind. Oh, which is great. They have fucking three D hot rally. Um. Oh, there's so much. That's there's Doctor Mario. Mario's got a sunshine outfit, too, that you can buy, which is the, he's got the shades from Mario Sunshine on his hat and the, the shine shirt. Oh, nice. He's got a suit for every, every one of the Brutals. There's a Santa outfit. There's just so many costumes in the game. That's insane. Oh, He's got the Luigi? Mario All Stars fucking black cap top hat. He has a Luigi costume too. Oh, nice. Um, among, amidst those 40, there's just so many of them. I don't know if this long play goes through the costumes. Probably not. But like, there are some really, really deep cuts in the, in the costume references. That's insane. I love that. And you can customize it too. You don't have to just wear a full costume. You can wear like one piece into another. It's it's a hat and um, a body. That's what I thought. Now, so like, does the the uh, eight bit sprites like reference that? Uh, no. The eight bit sprites are only sprited for um, if you're wearing a full suit. Ah. Which is the one unfortunate thing, but all things considered. Yeah, not too bad considering. I do remember shirtless Mario was a thing that everyone was, like, memeing on. Yes. Shirtless Mario with the nipples, yep. 
There's actually a speedrun category called Nipple Percent, which is getting to that costume as fast as you can. I, you're not joking, are you? No, I'm not. Okay. It's one of those silly side categories, among other ones, like Taka 2%, which is horrible. That one's really bad. So there's a bird that gives you hints, right? Uh-huh. All he does is he names the moon. He doesn't tell you where it is, he names it. And it's a random moon that you can obtain at the moment. And so Taka 2%, instead of being routed around, you know, getting the moons that are fast, you have Taka 2 give you moons, and you can only do the moons given to you by Taka 2. So it's completely random. It is... You are at the full whim of the RNG on that one. Man, I it's thought, really like, a... <laughs> I thought, like, Toe General Random World was, like, a, a silly category. That's, um... Oh, this, this game's got a whole bunch, because this game's really popular to speedrun, so they just have a bunch of extra categories, like dog percent. <laughs> what is dog percent? Uh, let me see. Review rules. Collect all five moons that are directly obtained from dogs as fast as possible. <laughs> oh my god. Nipple percent is really funny. Let's see what this one is. Damage list. There's so many. Festival percent, I think, is getting to the new donk, right? Yep. <laughs> There's a lot. Either way, this is the Sand Kingdom. As you can see, something kind of bad has happened. It's been covered in glass shards? It's ice. Ah. I was trying to make a connection with the sand, but yeah, alright. Ice and the, ice and the sand, right on. So welcome to Toast Arena. This place is really cool. Some more of the captures start showing up here in the game. Were those, like, characters you could talk to or were those enemies back there? Oh, those are characters you could talk to. Oh, okay. When I said this is a really quick long play, I... I just appreciate, like, how seamless it is to, like, get from, like, you know, an NPC town to a level. You just go right the fuck into it. Oh! Yeah, no, if you look at the movement in this game and the pacing, the loading times are, like, nearly non-existent. They're not actually cut in this video, by the way. Right, yeah. This is, like, straight-up gameplay feed. Like, the loading times in this game are damn near non-existent. Um, as you can see, the world travel is really smooth. The movement, I, I can't describe how good it feels to, like, move around in this game. But, like, all the st Look at that! Look at all the stuff you can do in this game. <laughs> it's so fun. Them. Yep, they, they're really small. They're kind of like, um, blue coins in Sunshine, I would say. More than they are, like, a full star. Just so, a... this game, when I say that you don't need a lot of time to really play this game, you can, you can jump in and make a good amount of progress and stop, and you'll have, like, have played for, like, 20 minutes. This game is actually pretty well paced, I think. And to unlock the last stage in the game before you start, or, well, yeah, basically, yeah, it's the last piece of post-game content that's new. Um, it's at 600 moons, which is, like... Sounds like a lot, but... Barely over half, because there's, like, 880. Jeez. So you only need 600 of those to beat the- to get to the end of the game. So sneaky- SNEAKY SNEAKY! Ha! <laughs> yeah, there's even an 8-bit Power Moon jingle. How cute. But yeah, this game is super, super inventive. And I- when I said you're not gonna have a hard time staying interested in it, I think you're already seeing why, because we've completely changed locales and scenery. Yeah. And every every world in this game is interesting. All of them. I think there are some that are more than others. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is, um, I think this is maybe not my favorite in terms of function, but in terms of appearance, I think it's my favorite capture in the game. It's so funny. 
They showed this one off really early. This was like at an E3 or something. And when I saw that transformation, I just immediately knew. Anyways, here's some shit you can do in this game if you want. Oh yeah, they're just like, you know, we don't have to go through this, so screw it, we won't. <laughs> Look at him go. It's beautiful. You've got to put on your shades. Wait, what, what does the shades do? Oh there my you god. Go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Every time I capture this thing for the first time in a playthrough, I face the camera and take them on and off. <laughs> it's so fun. I kind of feel like I would have time to play some of this game. Because it just kind of like breezes by. Mm hmm. No, if you're looking for a fun little weird game to play on your off time when you're bored, this is a great one. And it's, as you can see, super unique and weird. Something I really applaud it for in the Mario franchise right now. Because there's that whole fucking dirge of, uh, let's just say less than interesting looking games. <laughs> So this coming out was amazing. I mean, oh, like, thanks. 3D World was alright, but this game? Oh. Now keep in mind, 3D World is an amazing game and it's completely worth playing. I think it's fucking phenomenal. Way better than any new Super Mario Bros. game. It, it's just really well crafted. It has a lot of personality and whatnot. But I think in terms of, like, really interesting striking games... Oh my god, the sheep have sombreros. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And when you when you hit them with your cat, they go flying and they go. Eh. Oh, there, there, <laughs> there he went. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, there's a guy from New Donk over there. Yeah, I know. It was just a guy with a taxi here in the icy desert. And yeah, that just... taxi's supposed to be flying. Oh, right on. <laughs> There's an entire side quest where you, uh, a guy from this kingdom goes across to all the other worlds on that guy's taxi and they, like, go sightseeing. <laughs> and you talk to him in all the kingdoms. This, like, Apeit thing, really, like, on paper, it sounds very, like, played out and, like, overdone. But, like, already, they've done a, a lot of very interesting things with, like, the way that it's panned out across the walls. Oh yeah, no, this game, look, look at this, is so cool. And they do even more, wait till you see what they do next with it, it's so sick. And it always evolves, it's, oh, it's consistently so cool. If if it's not shown in the long play, I'll need to uh, set it aside and show it to you. But the 8-bit mural you get near the end of the game is so fucking cool. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh! This one's sick, watch this. You ready? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's awesome. Anyways, you probably do need a bullet bill capture for this to make it convenient. There we go! They just, I don't know, man, they did a lot. They did! No, this game is phenomenal. There's actually a way to hit one of those cactuses so they all line up and hit each other in one go. I think you get a, one, or like, a lot of money for it. Anyways, that tail's glowing. Ugh. This game does reward you a lot for just exploring and paying attention to things, which some people have criticized, but I'm just like, you know what? It's fun. It's nice. I'm, it's nice that... I'm definitely the kind of person who would miss something like that, but, like, I do think it is well designed. Yeah, no, it, it means that, like, I think this game is very beatable. 
Like a lot of people can get to the end of it and experience almost all of it, which I think is great. It doesn't sacrifice the fun parts for that either. Ooh! So I think I don't know if this this person's gonna skip the uh, the attack phase. Yep, they are. There you go. <laughs> so all of these brutals, uh, they seem like kind of slow fights, but there's a way to skip their um, invincibility phase entirely, uh, assuming you know the method. And so hers is just following where she goes and and ping ponging the first bomb she shoots right back into her like that. Wow. This game was definitely designed with speed clears in mind, I think. Kind of feels it like the earlier when we were just kind of like jumping over the uh, auto scrolling section. It just kind of felt like, well, you can if you want to, if you're like good enough, you know. Yep. Like there's no reason not to, you know, no reason to prevent that. That's very much this game's design mantra. It doesn't really care that you can kind of breeze through a lot of stuff if you know what to do. And in fact, they reward you for it, because some of them... There are, like, some challenge areas tucked to the side, right? Mm. That, uh... Have, like... Ways of going about the actual means of getting the moon that are, like, completely skipping any of the intended design challenges, but the jumps to get to those areas are hard. But if you do that, they stuck a lot of coins up there and shit for you to reward you for even figuring out to do how to how to do that. <laughs> and I think I remember reading or remember being told, yeah, no, my friend looked it up for me. And one of the things they were finding is that when people were testing the game, they were finding ways to skip this stuff. So instead of just preventing it, they decided we should just put coins up there because it's reasonably difficult to get to. So we might as well reward the player. Anyways, here's the Jaxi. Yeah, I mean, people are always going to do it anyway, so... Yeah. This is how you quickly travel around the desert. Here he goes! Oh my god. He's the big kitty. Oh yeah, now it's nighttime and there's a bunch of zombies. Just zombies? Well, I don't know, they're dead. They're definitely skeletons. Oh, right on. I don't know what else to call them. Oh yeah, do you notice the sand is on Mario? Because he went... Oh wow, yeah. I know if you uh, run into a cactus in the desert, some uh, thorns get stuck in his nose for a bit. <laughs> See, look, I won't run out of things to talk about in this game. It's just impossible. Anyways, Goomba Tower! Oh Christ. So you actually can stack more Goombas onto that tower, by the way. You can, if you jump on a Goomba while you're transformed as a Goomba or a tower, it'll just add to the stack. <laughs> and there, there are some moons that involve just stacking up a shitload of Goombas. What in He's the got world? a sports visor on. There we go. <laughs> Get that out of here. Keep in mind, this is, this is going for fastest clear, so you're going to see all, like, the story shit. Which is still a good chunk of the interesting parts of the game, but you're not seeing all the side things, like... And I can tell you that I could ride them off. You can capture a Lakitsu and go fishing for Captain Toad, who is stuck under sand. Um, you can capture, like, just a cactus and move it. And there's just a moon under it. Uh... What else? There's just so much in this game. But it's all really funny and quirky and fun to look at. It's an interesting even, arena. Just, even the main story is good. Alright, so here is the only Olmec boss in Mario that I know of. Bowser took the ring, right? Wham Bam Rock. Oh god, I never thought of that. Ow! Yeah, you gotta have him punch the ice. And then... Become Fist. Wow. I feel like... 
it's very easy to figure out what to do in this game because there's only really one solution, which is to... Well, there's two. There's jump on it and become it. <laughs> but, like, that's a good thing. Because mm -hmm. it means it's never really confusing, it's just... It's a matter of executing it right. Yeah, and figuring out how to get to that part, right? Because, like, sometimes capturing it is difficult, or they have a hat on or something, and you've got to figure out how to get it off, and yada yada. Become It is definitely one of the more fun parts of the game, though. I don't know how they're going to top this one with the next 3D Mario. It's going to be interesting. They find a way. Yeah, because this is a really interesting gimmick. So I'm, I'm curious to see. I just hope they reuse the movement engine. That's, uh... Oh, Perry! Uh-oh. Oh, okay. I love its face. Like, oh, no. <laughs> He's sad. <laughs> He's really sad that that happened. Oh, wow, they routed this to get exactly enough moons. I see. Because the big moons are worth three. There's more in this area. Oh yeah, oh yeah, a lot. There's 69 of the half. Oh right. <laughs> right, yeah. There's 69 moons in the Sand Kingdom. Nice. Uh before you unlock the extra post-game moons. Because there's not 880 moons in the main game until you unlock all the post-game ones as well. You're like building something. Or just making a bigger sale? I do like the world map, is just. It's yep. the, the world map. Yep! Oh, they're going to Lake Kingdom first? Ah. Uh, well, it's a good water level. a good water level, which I know sounds like I'm peddling you snake oil, doesn't it? But, uh, this level's really cool. I think you'll like the aesthetic. I know when I got here, I was floored. I also love, I, I love this, too. It's just chilling out. Oh, uh, do you notice their cups are hats, by the way? Oh my god. The the cup itself isn't, but, like, the, the shape of the cup yeah. dress thing that it's on, the plate. I noticed the, like, dresser was hat-shaped. Yep. There's a lot of that going on in this room. <laughs> it's, it's good. It's really good. Oh yeah, every purple, like, collectible in each kingdom is different. It's kingdom currency. Um, not explained in this long play, but uh, the kingdom currency, there's 100 or 50 of them in each kingdom. Uh, depending on the size of the kingdom, right? Mm. And uh, they're used to buy costumes at the Crazy Cap stores. Ah. Uh, you can. There are costumes that are sold with regular coins, like the regular ones you'd find everywhere. And then there are per kingdom caps that are, or per kingdom costumes that are sold with the purple coins. Ah. And usually, each kingdom has at least one kingdom costume. Some of them have two. Love that song. Such a nice little... Anyways, I'm a zipper. What? <laughs> yeah. Sticky fingers. <laughs> hey, the new one is coming out, part six. Alright. Which people were so excited to talk about on my Twitter feed. I got to read the phrase, the phrase, piss grandpa, and I don't know what that meant, and then I looked it up and I realized, wow. That really is a character, and wow, that's the lamest stand power I've ever heard. Yeah, Kenzo is he's something else. Like, okay, I can attack at an angle. Great! 
Thank you. It's like if Ken. It's like if Kenshiro told you where he was going to punch you, and then it was surprised when you figured it out. Like, part six is like, I love it in parts, and then it's also like, some of the stand powers are just like, what? Like. And. <laughs> Can control coffee if brewed at a certain temperature is like half of the stands in part six, and the other half is we'll kill you. It's like, like, <laughs> like that's literally the summary. It's like your your stand either has one million rules or your weather report, and you just beat the fuck out of everything. And like, also the weather. Like, okay. I don't even know if I should spoil it, but like, there's like the version of weather report where the he he turns everyone into snails by convincing them that they're snails? Okay. <laughs> it's like, what are you fucking talking about? <laughs> I'm not joking, saw... that's a thing that happens. They saw King Crimson and they said, we can do better. It's, it's like, you know, it's like, you know, Mario Galaxy, it's like, how do you top that? You know, and then Joe just like, King Crimson, how do you top that? Oh, wow. I know. Anyways, this level... Tying it in, <laughs> hell yeah. This place looks pretty cool, though. Oh yeah, no, it's great. I get, like, Zora's Kingdom vibes. Or oh, Zora's, sure. Zora's Village, or whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know. Zora's, Zora's Temple. Sure. I'm a Zelda fan, you know me. <laughs> Ow, biggest Zelda fan in the world. It's really pretty. Look, there's the thing from 64, and it's wearing a top hat! <laughs> It makes it makes funny animal noises if you go next to it. It makes like squeaky sounds. <laughs> Anyways, here's what I would assume would be your favorite brutal. Oh, it's yeah. That's a voice. I forget how you skip this. There's a way, though. I'd say, like, could you, like, jump under him or something? I think it's, like, onto him. Also, his hats are shaped like those flowers you've been seeing for a couple areas in the game. Which is the oh. game's hint. And you don't notice it at first. But then you, you realize, oh, it looks a lot like that. So that was their way of telling you to hit it with your hat. And it, to activate it just like the flowers, right? <laughs> really subtle, though. It's not obvious, like, in, uh... Some other games, like, where it's like, here's a big eyeball, hit it. Which just seems to be like the, the Zelda thing every other game, where it's like, <laughs> oh yeah. I don't mean that in a bad way either, it's just fine. But... You know, it's always the eyeball, right? There's some, oh, some, always. some shit about Nintendo and eyeballs, they want you to just mutilate an eye. All right, well, we're done here. Yep. There's a lot. There's not a lot. There's, there's a good chunk of stuff to do here, but, you know, obviously. Right, yeah. Felt like, uh, just in and out, though. Yeah. That's why I said it was hard to find a long play video of this game. Because I'm like... Do I want one that, like, shows off everything? Or... Because we would not be able to talk about it. All that time. But then every alternative is like, okay, zoom. <laughs> I think this, this this one's a pretty comfy pace, I would say, for talking about this game. It's like kind of speedrun pace while also not skipping everything. Yeah, except for cutscenes like that that are repeated. Oh, yeah, yeah. You just read you random shit. I don't know. It's cute. It's how the game masks a bit of the loading. Not a lot, though. Cause... Yeah, it works. I mean, it is adorable, so I'll forgive it. Yeah, funny little hat man. This level's really cool.
This is the only level where falling off doesn't kill you. It's Planet Wisp. Oh, see, somebody else mentioned that on one of my streams, and I was like, you know, I never thought of it, and then I looked at it, and I was like, yeah, you know, it looks a lot like it. So, uh, it's the robots. <laughs> they're, uh, they're freaking out. It's a bunny! He's wearing a hat! Ah. You hit him with your hat, and he goes, ah! <laughs> then you kill like, him! Oh, there's a Sphinx. Are we gonna do the Sphinx's riddles? I love this. I love these. He comes. <laughs> All right. Uh, the Sphinx has a whole character arc in this game. It's amazing. <laughs> He goes on a vacation to. He flies around on a sail <laughs> after after you beat the game. I was noticing that the um, when you get the moons, it shows the date, which I assume is for like a uh, like a screen cap sort of thing. Yes. And uh, I noticed this person has set their date to two years ahead, which is curious. Oh God. So, uh, you know, they're like, I'm afraid this video will become outdated in a few months, so, um, you know. Here we go. This is what Mario Odyssey will look like in 2022. You're not wrong. I don't think this game's getting patched anymore. So, <laughs> that joke, that joke will land. Oh! Oh, here it is! Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Stretch. <laughs> I like the sound it made. Oh. <laughs> It's like a fucking onion. <laughs> oh, there we go. Wait, what is happening here? It's the onion. All right, it's an onion. Do I gotta look up the name? I bet you want to know the name. I bet you're really curious, aren't you? Now I am. But you want to know what the fuck is that thing? Uh, okay. Would it be under playable characters? Uh... Let me see. Those coins, aka nuts. <laughs> They're only good in this kingdom, and he just immediately ignores them. Those things are called uproots. Yeah, they don't even... It's kind of got that thing from Mario 64 where you have, like, the start of every star. But they just continue from where you left off. Yep. You never get booted out when you get stuff in this game. So you just keep going. There are... Very rarely. Sometimes there are moons, story moons, that will put you back at a certain spot. But very rarely do they ever boot you out of the level and move you. Well, this song is really good, by the way. I remember, I remember linking you this, and you were like, what the hell? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's really good. Oh, it's, yeah. This might be the best song in the game. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was. It's really good. Sorry, I saw that, that nut. I thought we were going to be, um, like, blowing it around like a Wind Waker and playing golf with it. Oh, no. No. Not quite. We're already nearly an hour in, though. It goes by fast in this game. Jeez. There's more uproot, your favorite friend. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Love the sounds it makes. It's so good. It's very, uh, <laughs> just a very aesthetically pleasing level. The... Oh yeah, this, this level's really pretty. It might be like the one of the best looking ones in the game. Even if it's not my favorite kingdom, it's just like, nice to look at. 
I, I mean, the, industry overgrown with nature is like just a really like underrated aesthetic. It is. It really is. But like this game does it with like a lot of color as well. It isn't all like brown and green. Oh, yeah. It's like everything's red, which uh, works out. And there are some areas that are a bit rusted over that look a little darker. It, it, it has a nice contrast to it. Anyways, it's time for... Oh, I haven't said their names! Oh my god. Um, hold on, let me get it. <laughs> they haven't given their names, have they? No, but you're gonna find out now. Alright, so the, the green one is Topper. The lady one is Harry. This one, this guy's name is good. It's, uh, well you saw what he just did, right? Right. His name is Stewart. Ugh. Now you gotta jump on him to make him stop doing this. Otherwise, he goes uh, for a little bit. Damn, he's kind of gross. <laughs> Why? Why did they make a Mario villain who just vomits everywhere? <laughs> Yeah, so you can jump on him during this phase. And he'll just immediately pop out, and you can hit him again. So yeah, his his name is Stuart, and the, the top, the, the tall one is named Rango. That, that is a weird one. Yeah, he's just... Do you like Bo right, Joe? <laughs> yes? Well, do I got a character for you! Alright, well. A lot of fun, right? I love this game. Like I said, if, if you were worried about what, what do you talk about, I was like, why are you worried? Look at this. <laughs> There's so much. I appreciate they, like, gave Mario's outfit a lot more detail, but didn't take, like, the weird melee route. Oh, Brawl, where they had, like, he had, like, denim? Oh, yeah, that was it, yeah. Oh, yeah, all the Crazy Cat locations have the Crazy Cat music, by the way. What the hell? That's a rocket flower. You go fast. Uh -huh. Oh, here, here is my, my favorite enemy. Do you want to know what this enemy's name is? Oh, Sherm? This is Sherm, yep. The Sherm. The Sherm. All right. Where's evil Sherm? I think that's what he's not captured. All right, fair enough. I think my favorite is when you uh do everything. When you solve everything in a kingdom, it changes, right? Look at that one guy at the charging station to the left over there. He's just dead. <laughs> like, hold on. If if it, when he when he goes back, you'll see it. There's, there's this one guy over there that's just lying on the floor, he's just dead. <laughs> oh, no. like they're all lined up, but this one robot's just done. Oh, here we go. Oh! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> there's one of these for, I, I think, almost every kingdom. And it requires you to stack Goombas. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you have to do that. <laughs> if you feel so inclined. You know, I think this thing does shoot fireballs about as fast as Sharon does. <laughs> Oh yeah, so uh, I bet you're wondering what happens if you collected a moon already, but you go back to a location that has one. Oh yeah, what happens? Do they respawn? Uh, so they, they become like transparent, but they're still on the map. And if you pick them up, you get a couple coins. Alright. They're worth like... Because coins are important. You do buy costumes with them, which gives uh. them a lot of meaning. Uh, oh, there's 8-Bit Luigi. There he was. What? There he is. What's he doing down there? giving you money.
Damn, Luigi, thanks. But yeah, um... They give you coins, and they also, uh, you know, you notice how when you when you collect a moon in this game, you get your health back. Uh, collecting a transparent moon, even though you already got it, you still get health back for that. Oh, nice. With boss fight? Question mark. I love this music. This game is freaking great. This, according to the date in the game, this was recorded a year from today. Impressive. That's that's a hell of a coincidence. Holy shit! Yeah, you're right. That's wow. <laughs> One powerful onion. Very weird boss. You're telling me. You just kind of cool though. I love it just rapidly hits stuff. <laughs> yeah. You know, I feel like we need to do Origami King too. That game is another one of those weird Mario games. Oh yeah. That one's a little longer, though. Like, if I looked right now. But that one would definitely be funny. Even if it took us multiple sessions. <laughs> that one's like... Oh my god. Never mind. Maybe not. <laughs> you know what? That's, 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 that's over 15 hours. I don't know if I have the endurance. Mm. That would, that would be like, we'd have to do like an episode of that every month or something. <laughs> For a year. Well, not really a year. It'd be like... <laughs> it'd be like a handful of recordings. I'll think about it. This game is nice, though, because this is, what, three hours? Yeah, not even three hours. So... Yeah. I'm probably going to end up making tea during this recording. I always have my tea at night. Ah. But, oh, there it is. The multi moon! <laughs> That's Woody Kingdom. Pretty cool place. Oh, yeah, and now when you go to the level, it looks a little different. All the flowers are out and everything. You get a little glimpse of it. And when they go back to the eye, it's super pretty. With all the flowers out. I'm like way out here. Yeah, like if you go back in, you can see all the flowers blooming everywhere, and they're all flying around and stuff. That's neat. Yep. It has a real bearing on the world that you did that. Something I like about this game is that the worlds all change all the time like that. Oh! That's where you want to be, right? That's the one I know you're, you'd be the most interested in, right? Certainly sounds like the most interesting place.
I expected that to be a little earlier, considering, like, how kind of big it was. Big in the marketing? But yeah, no, it's like in the mid-game position, yeah. How easy is it to do the, uh, the thing where you, like, throw the hat out and then bounce off of it? Very. It looks kind of tricky. Once you get used to it... Oh no. It's very intuitive. All you do is you hold Y after you throw the cap. Uh, you press the trigger button, and then you just press X. <laughs> it's actually not super tricky. With a bit of practice, you'll be good at it too. If you pick up the game, for that matter, it's it's actually there. There are some very hard movement tech in this game, though. Like there, there definitely is hard movement. Oh. The roll is an interesting new thing, I think. Okay, piranha plants. Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> does Bowser have like slicked back like hair? Yes, he does. Oh my god. <laughs> it's good, right? Okay, the Stop tutorial fantasy. images are bizarre. He's ready for his wedding, dude! Don't be so hard on him, he got his hair all done up and everything. <laughs> Jesus. He's just like throwing chunks of world at you. Yeah! <laughs> Not my head! All my power is stored there. <laughs> the bouquet of piranha plants is really good. Like, Mario, you might have forgot he had that. Maybe you should have thought of that before punching him back onto the airship. Seemed like an uh, ill-advised move, yeah. There he goes again. I played Sea of Thieves before. Yeah! Looks like you should have leveled up your industry, Mario! <laughs> Man, New Donk City doesn't look nearly as good as I thought. Yeah, it's crazy, right? This this area does have maybe the funniest capture. I can say about every area. Shit. <laughs> I didn't catch on to the fact that that was just called the Odyssey until now. Yep. I mean, fair. Oh no, it's Klepto! No, my head! What? The source of my power- wait. Oh, 
Took him a minute there, like, wait. Poor hat. Oh, look at the. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Extendo Wigglers. Oh, they're happy. Those are tropical Wigglies, as they're called. Ah. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. I wasn't sure what we were trying there, but, uh... So you said like the name of the uh the moon, like they all have like the little like subtitle there. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. So that actually can help you figure out like where they are. Yeah, when Takatu tells you what they are, you get to see what that is. Oh I love these guys. Oh, they got him. Oh, Ow. <laughs> oh. You can hear him go like oh <laughs> It's so good! Like, sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to get you hurt there. I'm- I'm- I'm praying that they capture a Tropical Wiggler. It, it's so important to the experience that you see and hear what it- what they do. I'm begging them. <laughs> please. Get that one, please. Are they necessary? Ah, uh, for, for some moons, yes. Oh, going to a side area? Oh, I love these. Look, look at that! <laughs> Fuzzies. And you said these are really novel. They remind me of A Link Between Worlds, actually. That's another thing I haven't played or seen anything of. That's a really good game. They're more like little wall murals than they are like 8 bit throwbacks in a way. Yeah. It's a nice uh, mix of both. <laughs> yes! Okay, listen, listen. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. And you can do it really slow, and it'll still go like. <laughs> They're so fun. They make little accordion sounds. Yeah, the movement is like wild in this game. Uh, yeah, and this is like, I would say mostly like mid level. Not like bad, but like this is stuff that I could do. Right, right, it's not like the speedrun tech where it gets, like, crazy. Yeah. But, like, you can just see, this game is super freeform. With how, like, objectives are. And I think for a game that requires a lot of exploration, I think that's the best way. No, for sure. Because it means that you can make the act of just going somewhere really fun. Look at that guy. I hope I hope I hope they capture him. That flying guy over there. Oh, they aim at the toad. Oh. Woo. <laughs> We're not gonna talk to uh. Capitalism toad. Nope. Leave him to his own.
And now we're going to Metro Kingdom. God, that's pretty. Like, you go back like a decade or two and you think like Mario games are very simple, everything's kind of like flat, color wise. Yeah. You think they wouldn't do stuff like this and then it wouldn't work? But it's like, oh, you can stylize it. New Donk City is the dumbest name ever, but they get away with it. Well, do you know why it's called New Donk City? Reasonably, yeah. So, um, if you look at all the street signs in this level, which you can when it's daytime, every street and, like, avenue are named after Donkey Kong characters. So, real quick, this rain effect is really damn nice, Jesus. Oh, what, like how it gets on the screen? Yeah. Just in general. Oh, oh yeah, Mayor Pauline. Anyway, bye. Yeah, you know why it's called New Donk City? Because it's supposed to be like the city from the Donkey Kong game. Forget about it. Yeah. Anyways, top hat sure. Oh, it's Evil Shroom. You gotta give Evil Shroom one of those in his intro. <laughs> Construction Goomba. <laughs> Freaking rip off a of Mega Man right there. I would love that if they just popped out of the, the hard hat, though. Be me tool style. Oh, that'd be great. You can get a couple moons before you fight the boss, but not a lot. This game looks amazing. Like, I did not expect it to have, like, such nice looking graphics. Right? And the frame rate is rock solid. Yeah. Like, it has a, it has a few dips here and there. New Donk specifically, it doesn't last for long though. I think it's just loading stuff. Right. But like the performance is... Do you know how the performance is in the handheld? Still good. That's wild. It's a damn pretty game, isn't it? Just so well, well thought out. And really good in its look. Not sure what's going on with like the yellow Goombas. Like little baby Goombas. <laughs> They're like Goombabs. Goomchild. Those are some gross things. Nice. Children of the Goom. I like this track. Oh, the song? Yeah, it's pretty good. The nighttime new dawn theme. Yeah, those fucking larvae that turn into flies, yeah, or like bloat flies or something. Yeah. I think those are supposed to be like big blow flies, yeah. What the hell are these things? Oh, it 
It's just a thing. <laughs> this is one of the first bosses showed off in a trailer. You're up on the Mecha Wiggler! Oh my god. I see, they like this tank. <laughs> it's time, Boundary! What the fuck? Boundary versus Sherm, let's go! Yo! So one thing too about each level, there's a map and a fast travel system in this game, believe it or not. <laughs> um, all those checkpoints you hit, you can uh, pull up your map and go to them. Oh, nice. Uh, but the other thing is, every map, like the map in it for every kingdom is also a travel brochure. So on the sides that aren't like the map, you can actually read stuff about the kingdom. <laughs> they have like the temperature, the rough population estimate, like small, medium, large, whatnot. Um, they have shit like the fucking average temperature of each kingdom. Wow. It's meant to be like a vacation brochure. I mean, let me see if I can find it. Travel brochure map. Uh... All Kingdom brochures. Here we go. Let's let's look at uh, the Metro Kingdom. So it's just like the vacation game. The interdimensional wiggler was causing rain. <laughs> All right, so the uh, Metro Kingdom populate the city that never sleeps. Population crowded, size redonkulous. Oh, they have the name for the locals, the the new donkers. <laughs> Scraping the sky. The skyscrapers of New Donk City are most people's first association with the city. But even among these, New Donk City Hall stands out as the very symbol of this great city, so don't miss it. Who knows? You might even run into world renowned Mayor Pauline. I just I just have to point it out, even though it's totally obvious that this person what? just said jump man in New Donk City. Because of course she <laughs> fucking did. <laughs> <laughs> you're really taking what you're looking at right now? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> this is such a fucking good game. I love this game so much. Anyways, I'm about to see this person get the 100 jump ropes. Let's go. Oh, did I mention that there are birds in every kingdom? Like, uh, birds? like... Yes, there. Like you'll see little birds flying around, right? You've probably seen them in a few areas. Right. Did you know they went to the trouble of making them different per kingdom as well? <laughs> Why not? Uh, this one has pigeons, just like New York City. New Hell yeah. Uh, Woody Kingdom had blue jays. Um, let's see, a million coin view. If you've come to New Donk City, you owe, your, you owe it to yourself to see it at night. The best viewing spot is the landmark New Donk City Hall. But sadly, the interior is closed for construction, so you'll have to aim for one of the neighboring buildings. If it's festival season, you'll have a chance at a once-in-a-lifetime experience. But the timing is a bit irregular, so be sure to check for the schedule beforehand. For the record, they do specify that this kingdom's industry, its primary export and in industry is information and ads, and the temperature average is 81 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> 
Also, cool detail, uh, the Crazy Cat Store is this kingdom's big industry thing, and it is actually the most elaborate Crazy Cat in the game. Being a, like, two-store-wide area. So they went out of their way to make it the biggest one, just kind of like it would be, seeing as it is the founding location. <laughs> There's so much in this game. It It is... incredible. It is... Honestly, incredible. Jesus. I love talking about it. I like telling people about it that haven't heard of it because they're just like, wow, that's a lot. <laughs> I, I would not have expected this from a Mario game, say that much. Oh, uh, I don't know if they're going to show it off, but you can drive a scooter <laughs> in this level. You control a guy controlling an RC car, which is uh, very Oh, yeah, escape. you saw that, right? Yeah. Horrifying, isn't it? <laughs> There's actually an RC car like racetrack area. Oh. I like this thing every time they talk about somebody, they show a little icon of them. Yo! Alright, so the cool thing about this is that the song for this area uh, gets more instruments the more band members you recruit. <laughs> oh. So now we're gonna have like, um, you're gonna notice the difference in the song now. You're gonna hear the drums. Ah. It it picks up the uh Was he playing the drums for like the moon git music? He might might have been. Oh listen to this song, you might recognize this. Wait. Get closer to him. I think I know what that was. <laughs> He's playing the Donkey Kong theme, yes. Yeah. 25M or whatever. Yeah. Yay. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, <laughs> it's so good. I love this game so much. Only the guys pop it off. I like before, and they were like, oh man, we got a drummer! Yeah! Just like, yeah, drums, hell yeah! <laughs> Oh, listen, you can hear the guitar now. Oh, <laughs> oh! <laughs> so you bumped that guy over there. So those, um, like... Oh. They're Sims! Rocking out. <laughs> Jesus. I feel like you're having a good time with this. Oh yeah. I think the worst part about this experience is that I didn't just play the game for myself. Oh. oh well, maybe the one saving grace is that there's so much of this game that isn't being shown in this video. <laughs> The fucking, like, the walk sign, but it's just a question mark block. Holy shit. Yeah! <laughs> Thoughts on that decision? Oh, look at there's graffiti! Oh, I missed it. There's, like, actual graffiti. There's ads. There's ads for other kingdoms. And on, like, billboards <laughs> and stuff here, too. What were you doing up here, sir? I don't know. I just... When I want to... You know, hang out, I'm just on a roof playing a horn. That's what I do. That's what I do, I just go to the rooftop and just play my horn. <laughs> Here's, listen, here comes the music! Yeah! Uh. Oh, it's such a nice touch. It's such a nice touch. It's all pipes. It's a cool gimmick.
I was kind of wondering, like, how long, you know, Mario can get by it, but, like, kind of skating on references from older games, but it's, like, so consistent, like, if you played one other Mario game, then you you get all these references, you know? Yeah. Or, like, a lot of them, at the very least. It's not- all the Bowser graffiti! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really, I didn't notice it until just now. Don't eat my hat, man! I like the very sunshine-esque, like, like, puddles of, like, crap on the ground that you can clean up. Yeah! Watch, watch this. They're gonna start popping off. Are you ready? They were frozen in time. There we go. <laughs> That's awesome. Now you ready for the most surreal part of this game? Hmm. Am I? I'm serious. This part is... Honestly. A traditional festival. Well, alright. So good. A celebration of that time when the giant monkey captured the mayor. Yeah. Did I tell you this game has songs with lyrics? I mean, you didn't need to tell me that. Uh, Smash Brothers already kind of ruined that for me. <laughs> I do like this song though. I I do appreciate it. It's uh. Jesus Christ, this game. It's awesome, isn't it? This part is such a, like, a big part of the game. I think this is, like, maybe the apex of it. Definitely the most memorable part. I can't really get past the fact that, like, they just put in, like, humans who don't look anything like the established <laughs> human characters, and they're just like, that's fine. Awesome! You just feel like a sonic maneuver? Just like ran in a half pipe? Yeah. This secret. Oh, they're not gonna show it off. There's invisible blocks above that one. Ah. There's a hidden moon there. You'll love what's coming up though. I always miss those coins too. It's very, like, like, Sonic Casino Night sort of aesthetic. Oh, yeah. I'm also liking the DK25M here. And look who it is. Of course. There he is. The song, I think, is actually on iTunes. <laughs> oh yeah, if you wait for a bit... <laughs> if there's music playing in the background anywhere, he will do that. <laughs> and he, he actually dances on beat to the music, too. Oh my god. Oh, special moon grab. Such a cool part of the game. Certainly some on, my people first, liked it. on my first playthrough, that was like, oh my god, that was incredible. <laughs> like, wow. I already kind of knew it was coming, and I was still like, yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, no, it's like, 
God, this game has so much heart. So much. Nowadays, everybody's pretty comfy with like Mario and stuff, right? But it's easy to see why when this game was the last one that came out, it was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're yeah. good. We're fine. And it was, uh, we're not going to get anything quite that profoundly moving in the, f in the future, but, uh, let's look at some fun stuff. You'll like this kingdom because it's got a, an NPC that I think you'll really appreciate. Inhabitants that will truly, um, inspire you. Let me read the brochure for the Snow Kingdom, shall I? There's so many hat-shaped things on this hat. <laughs> the table is a hat. You're noticing more, aren't you? Oh my god, it's everywhere. I think the drawer with the book is also hat-shaped. Oh, yeah. I noticed the little, like, knobs are all hats. So, this place is home to the Shivarians. You'll love them, I promise. It's Shiverstar. Ugh, it's a little cold. I don't know what this magical white stuff is. Ah. Uh. Samurai Shodown 5 Special Sensor Blood. Ah, okay. I can't even make jokes about that considering we had a fucking record yeah. breaking cold in Texas you're this not, year. You're not, you're not allowed to say I don't know what snow is. Anyways, here are the Shivarians. I'm apparently more aware of what snow is than the uh, people who run the fucking state, so... Yeah! I, I love these people. They are so funny. Look at them. They're little like they're, <laughs> look at, they're so happy. That's adorable. They're like seals and snow coats. Oh! Oh, they're wearing Santa hats. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I play table tennis with my friends. We just blow a block at each other. <laughs> there are lots of little puzzles in this game too, like this. Oh, pay attention. I think every puzzle slash challenge room has at least two moons, usually. There's the obvious one that you get for getting to the end, and then there's the not-so-obvious one that's usually kind of hidden. I do like that, like, uh... I think that was established in Sunshine, where, like, Mario is, like, a shadow silhouette when he's not visible. Oh, yeah. It's a good way of keeping the camera from fucking up long and short of it. Yeah. It's the one nice thing that came out of Sunshine. I mean, a lot of good stuff. Like, the whole partner that Mario has that gives him new powers. Oh, yeah. I guess that'd stick around. I hope they do the Shivarian race. You you will truly love that. If they do it. I feel like aesthetically this game is kinda like it's kinda like what Sunshine did, except with more places than just Delfino. Yes. Uh they they actually stated that this place's theme like the theme of this game was meant to be like a big road trip. That was the idea. It works. <laughs> Good 
Wow. I guess I, I think I, I feel like you would like this one the most <laughs> of them. This makes stupid sounds when he bouncy. Boom. Shoutouts to that. Oh, he's sliding around. Oh, yep. We're, we're gonna see it. We're gonna see the best part of this mm -hmm. kingdom. It's all I'm so excited. The part that fucking had me. I couldn't. When I played this game the first time, you're gonna love it. Mm. It's just a fucking ad for this game at this point, but listen, every time <laughs> I play it, every time I play it, I love it so much. It's so nice that there's a Mario game with this much going on in it. How long has it been? To be honest, I think it has been since Galaxy. Before this game came out. Because, like, 3D World has lots of gimmicks, but I don't think it has lots of, like, weird settings and shit to talk about like this game does. Right. We're not quite at the part where Mario is just talking with, like, real people and stuff. All right, here are the, uh... What could those be? Oh! Uh. Remember Cubivore? Oh yeah, this is the cold water. You notice what the screen did there? It got, like, icy and crackly if you're in the cold water. Ah. Really neat screen effects. I like the sound it makes. Ooh, puzzle secret! Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, jeez. Yeah, the hat dive and the bounce off the hat gives you basically another air action. You can't keep bouncing off the hat in one jump, but... I was gonna say, it almost looked like an infinite jump. It'd be cool, but... I, I love these, these seal people so much. <laughs> oh, he's covered in snow. They are really fucking adorable, though. If you just see, like, a still image, I'll just send it to you. I mean, just look at him. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> it's just... And then when they, like, when they sit around, they're, they're blushing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... I mean... They're, they're so wonderful. Happy just to be here. That, that one didn't embed for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. Like, give me a sec. I, lo I love them. <laughs> You're just fucking. I have got C they... speed runs of this game. Pardon? I have the C speed runs of this game. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're really fun. You can only imagine, right? Are right, you ready for the race? Am I? Oh, you're not. 
But first, we have to meet the king! Hi. <laughs> this guy's a little nervous. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, <Yes. fuck. laughs> Oh, okay. Look at the king, look at him. <laughs> oh my god. Are you ready? Oh my god! <laughs> this is incredible! Here they go! I was not expecting this. No, it's fucking great! Ready? Here he goes! And then... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Listen, if there is any other thing to cite for why this is the greatest Mario game ever, even though I don't like it more than Mario 3. But, I mean, just look. What other Mario game? What other what? Mario game does this happen in? Can you tell me? I don't, I don't <laughs> think there's another one. Oh my god. It's... It's... Incredible, isn't it? Jesus Christ. They really just thought of everything and then said, yeah, you know what? Haha, <laughs> big seal bounce. <laughs> <laughs> hey, me too. You know what? <laughs> Fuck it, sure. If there was anything you could sell me on, it would be this. I like oh, that <laughs> a, a Mario racing series that they could pull references from here as well for, like, the music. Oh my god. You know, they could've just made Mario drive a cart. But yeah. ain't it better? Jesus. It's awesome. I, I knew you would love that. It's- it's so- <laughs> it's so good. Just, oh. Yeah. Now the snow is all cleared out, you can actually see. There's some penguins over there. Oh. Yes, they have penguins in this game too. And they're still adorable. Let me read the, the brochure for the Snow Kingdom really quickly. A world of ice and snow that freezes the body but dazzles the eyes. Stay alert, though. One bad step can drop you into the dangerously frigid sea. Despite the cold, the town of Shiveria is famous for its warm hospitalities, and on clear days, the view can't be matched. It talks about the Grand Prix. Oh, I love my brochure that warns me if I take one rock step, I'm just gonna die. Yeah, well, it's good that they thought about it, you know. <laughs> Lurking in the local crevices, you may find a bite frost. That's those things that be coming up from the floor. These creatures move through the ice under them prey, then thrust upward, chomping. Caution and jumping ability is advised. <laughs> Beyond racing, Shivarians are known for elaborate baked goods. Especially renowned is the frost frosted cake, which is very popular at weddings. By tradition, only the Shiverian Elder is allowed to make this extraordinary confection. What's more, they are specifically created as the grand prize for the Bound Bowl Grand Prix, so the only way to get one is to convince the winner to let you have it. <laughs> Three keys to the kingdom. Oh yeah, every kingdom has this little brochure thing. Swim only in short bursts if you like being warm enough to stay alive. Um, yikes. Dig for the gate to the town, which is frequently buried in the snow. 
found your way through a race, build and species permitting. Yeah, let's, let's meet about the seaside kingdom, shall we? Gotta have the brochures all up. Speaking of Sea of Thieves, kind of reminds me of that. Oh yeah, the spectacle known as oh sorry, <clears throat> raise the glass. The spectacle known as Glass Tower isn't just majestic; it also fulfills the critical role of manufacturing the famous local product, sparkle water. Oh my God, they make Lacroix. <laughs> It stands atop the glass palace, which has a uniquely beautiful ar architectural style. It's a treasure to be explored. The four fountains in Bublain spray seawater toward the glass tower. The ocean here is carbonated but otherwise unremarkable. However, when blended in the glass tower, it takes on a deep, elegant flavor and becomes sparkle water. This treasured beverage is said to bring good fortune, happiness, and even romance to who to those who drink it, which has led to it being featured in many wedding ceremonies. Ah. In addition to the fun resort spots found in Bubbling, there are some notable dangerous locations as well. Thank you, brochure. One of these is the underwater cave connected to the lighthouse where gigantic creatures called ma rays make their nests and shoot out their long bodies in response to stimuli. A little caution can go a long way when exploring this place. So they is Mario just like scouting out for Bowser and Peach's honeymoon? Pretty much. Well, this is awful nice of him. Oh. He's basically going to where Bowser just was and realizing that Bowser's taking all this shit to have a wedding. Oh god, here we go. So remember the eel from Mario 64? Vaguely? You remember him, right? You know. Not necessarily. Didn't well, remember. They were like... You know, that wasn't enough to horrify children. Oh. I said the eels from Metal Slug, then, uh... They, they are uniquely horrifying, aren't they? <laughs> Those are the Ma Rays I was talking about. It's a really pretty game, isn't it? It is. Sorry for reading that entire brochure to you. There's still more <laughs> to it, by the way. I, I, I cut stuff out because... Damn. I just want to talk about the game, obviously. You can't just read the brochure. They made a lot of lore for this, surprisingly. Yes. Yes, they did. They, they talk about it a lot in the brochures. It's quite strange. Oh, the, the seagulls are the local bird here, by the way. Of course. I don't know if it specifies what kind of birds. Can you control the birds, or are they just there as just like flavor? They're just there, yep. Huh. I'm gonna look at the, the birds for each kingdom. Each kingdom has its own species. This is an interesting one. into water. Oh yeah, this capture? Yeah, I love it. That thing is called the, uh, it's the one that was spraying water, right? Yeah, yeah. That's called the, I love saying it, the gushin. Ooh. Fun to say, right? I like that's the thing with Nintendo games, is there's these creatures that can spin water and turn it from, or spin lava and turn it into water. It's considered oh, clever cool. from, uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. Is evil coral, seaweed, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it's evil seaweed.
They're they're making the sons of Donkey Kong Maiden like the original uh, Mario Party. Okay, so the birds and the the cat kingdom have little top heads. <laughs> there are parrots, I think. Or yeah, I think it's a parrot in the Cascade Kingdom. Lunch or Lakeside, I don't know what kind of bird that is. The blue, there are blue jays in Woody Kingdom, as I said. Cloud Kingdom, I think, just has seagulls. Metro Kingdom has pigeons, yep. The little birds in the Snow Kingdom are just penguins. <laughs> and when Mario falls asleep in a kingdom, they land on his nose, actually. <laughs> and they hang out until he moves. Which means, yes, it's different for kingdoms. So every time you fall asleep in a kingdom, you get a different bird on your nose. Wow. Now, let's see what the seaside ones is. Oh, it's just a seagull, too. Right. Not that unique. Ha! Does, does a penguin sleep on your nose? Yes. Well, it hangs out on your nose. It just thumps around. Right. Oh, here we go. He's gonna get popped. Oh! This is a hell of a design. But why is they got lava on its head? That's why. <laughs> right on. Because he's actually bald. <laughs> My love a haircut. No. Oh, those are sounds. He's an elusive one. It, it is strange, isn't it? Like, did they fart at you? you just fucking turn around and just. Boom. Oh, yeah. I don't know what the, uh. The etymology slash. Biology of a gushing is. Let's, let's see what the Mario Wiki has to say about gushing, shall we? <laughs> While we're here. Flapjack Octopus! Okay. That's this guy? Uh, this, well, the one that Mario's captured, yeah. Ah. Although apparently the boss is just kind of like a big one. My head! Uh, well, that guy's dead. Okay, I don't think LaCroix is made like that. Yeah! You two can have a tiny Italian man inside your LaCroix. <laughs> I mean, listen, if Mario talked to me in my LaCroix, maybe I'd buy it. <laughs> Now Mario fly for you. <laughs> oh man, the sparkling water is the best. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh yeah, now it's sunset the whole time while you're here. This is a nice look. This game's pretty. It is. Ooh, pretty.
Anyways, I'm gonna take a quick intermediary. I'll be back in like a minute. Right. I'm just gonna put my tea kettle on. Is this We're going to the then? Kingdom next, so I hope you're excited. Uh, am I still going or? Oh no. going on. Damn, it looks nice, though. Hello, All right, I'm back. Hello. See? I wouldn't be long, I told you. When my tea is, when the kettle is boiled, I go up, put the tea bag in, do all that, come back down, wait for it to steep, then go back up and get it set up. I'll be good to go. All right. Not to be super weird. This commentary is going to feel more alive now that I'm making tea during it. <laughs> Anyways, this kingdom is really weird to look at. I mean, look at it. Food. Brutals are after some cooking. This kingdom is odd. But the way you navigate it, you might find to be very funny. That's corn, by the way. <laughs> On the cob. <laughs> What, what the hell? Whoa! Oh, bye. That is lava, by the way. That, um... Old... Oh, okay. Oh. Jonas Rango is just gone. Oh, is this all the stuff of that guy puke stuff? Yeah. I guess it makes sense that he's here, huh? <laughs> it's funny that this person knew to interrupt the first fight, but not any of the other ones. You know how to do Harriet, yeah. Topper, he also did, because Topper, like the green one with the green hat, he's pretty simple. All you have to oh, do is yeah. guess right. I think if you bump him around enough, too, he'll exit the phase a little quicker. But like, no, 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 no. Sound design is immaculate. Oh yeah, this game's got really good sound effects. And now he's gone. Dead For forever. real. For real this time. <laughs> God, I love this game. <laughs> oh yeah, the... The fucking inhabitants of this kingdom are just talking forks. Oh. I, that's just what it is. They are forks that talk. Yes, the Hammer Bros are throwing frying pans. I was supposed to say. Ouch. <laughs> wow, okay. Tricky little bastards. Oh. Oh, 
I like the fireball was like not just like a generic looking thing, like it, it kind oh, yeah, like of looks like a 3D model their little fireballs, right? Yeah. They uh, they remind me of the Mario Bros. Arcade Fireball, actually. Oh yeah. It's very cool. And you notice too that the piranhas that shoot fireballs they glow yellow instead of purple. Oh yeah. This is a really damn good game. I'm glad I'm glad we did this. Not that I don't like Sonic Rush. <laughs> we'll get to it. But if I told you I liked this game more, would you believe me? Oh, four! Oh, there we go. <laughs> Uh. You better cook that shit. That's <laughs> how cooking works, right? <laughs> Put in golden onion, receive moon. I love the face on it. It's so good. If I showed you that, like, capture it, hold on. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, the hammer bros have hair in this game. <laughs> you ever wonder what it looked like under the helmet? Now you know. The aesthetic of this area is very interesting. Because it's like, here's food, and then here's just colors? Yeah, it's it's weird looking. Anyways, here's the capture. I, I, I just like it. <laughs> it's just... Yeah! But it's funny. Oh, this boss is gonna please you. Well, first off, we gotta get to the meat. The meat plateau. Oh, got us a torch puzzle. Hey, yeah, this game has those. It's honestly good that I'm that the, the playthrough is this quick because I still have to finish streaming this game. Uh, uh oh. What in the world? Good save. Oh, okay. But, uh. I still have to finish, and I don't want all the moon spoiled. Right. In my replay. <laughs> Forks. <laughs> hey, are you ready for the, the meat puzzle? I don't know. Uh, uh. It's just a piece of meat with the mustache and a hat. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh, wow. This is a game. It sure is. I have always wanted a Mario game where you turn into a giant slab of meat. You know?
a weird looking area, Jesus. It's all just rainbow colored? Yeah, it's weird. It's just like... It is just abstract. Alright, fire But, also, fire but also food, you know? Yeah. You know, food is an abstract art. It's not really, but you know. <laughs> Yeah, do a timer challenge. Interesting. Yeah, there's a couple of those per kingdom. I assume this game doesn't have any form of lives. Nope, just lose 10 coins per death. Ah. Pretty nice about that in that regard. Hang on, while, while he's just traveling up this mountain, I'm gonna go put my tea bag in my tea because I think it's probably boiled. Hold right on. on. Oh, hey. I feel like we're just ignoring the special coins. Oh, got one. Oops. I'm at step two of the sea production, which is wait four minutes. Excellent. And then go get it, and then I'm done. I just can't drink it at one in the morning. I'll be awake all night if I do that. <laughs> what a what a game. What a game, right? It's captivating, though, isn't it? No pun yes. intended. Oh my god. It's definitely a Mario game that has odd in the title. <laughs> you know, making something even more bombastic than Mario Galaxy, that's a, that's a hell of a hat trick. Isn't it? Because Mario Galaxy is, like, really grand. So to try and challenge that, they had to do a lot. I'm honestly impressed. Like, I, <laughs> I, I, I kept making jokes, like, how could they go bigger from here? But they did it. They just, they're just like, we're just going to do it. It's like somehow more and less ridiculous. But like... <laughs> it's still just so strange. Yeah, because it's just like, here's Earth, but also Earth is really damn weird. Soup! Are you ready for the strangest counterattack of all time? How could it get weirder? Uh. Well, you asked. Why is there so much vomiting in this game? I don't know. But in hindsight, it makes perfect sense why they picked that one brutal, right? I've oh. never seen something that's, like, made of so much food, but is so unappetizing. Right?
<sighs> I see motion controls are still part of the equation. A little bit, yeah. This goofy bird. So what do you think overall? I think if Bowser is getting the stew for his, uh, wedding, uh, he hired the wrong guy. We figured it out! Projectile vomit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna puke into this a whole bunch. Bowser's like, I'm sorry? Dude, I hired you to cater? What is this? Like, <laughs> I'll be right back really fast, though. And we will know if we that Go into the deep lore of Vomit Bird. <laughs> That's how you beat Dead by Daylight kill her the plague you just ride her vomit why didn't I see it before oh we got one more I think Alright, I'm back. Yellow. And I'm back just in time. I only have one more, it looks like? <laughs> For our next encounter with the booze. Let's do it. The, the booze? The Bowser, the boozer. Uh, I mean, there are booze in the Mario universe, so you have to be specific. Hmm. <laughs> You're right. No uh, haunted aesthetic stuff going on yet. I think I don't really know how you do incorporate that into world travel. Ah yes. Your second jump will too, Cappy, but not quite as high. <laughs> Bowser? You mean like Bowser? <laughs> Wait a minute. Um. It's a. Uh... Hooktail. I just want you to imagine, when I first played this game, what the fuck this was like, like. <laughs> I mean, I'm experiencing it. It's just so strange. He just has a dragon, alright. Are you ready to see where we're gonna go? You're not even gonna believe this in a Mario game. You've probably seen screenshots of this place. Can I just point out that was the music they... I think they made that music for Mario Maker of the, the ship levels? Air ship? Yes. Wow. That's, that's great. I like that. Look where we are. Look at this. Oh, this is what I wanted. Hell yeah. It's like we're in a fucking Souls game. <laughs> Is this like uh, Bayonetta stage? Like, what's going on here? Uh oh. Mario boss! <laughs> Just. <laughs> if you thought New Donk looks weird, I'll tell you. You know what this looks like? This looks like Nintendo Hire This Man. Yeah. But, like, not in a bad way? 
But it totally what? does. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm really taking you in how speechless you are. So I haven't played Shadow of the Colossus. I'm getting kind of some vibes from that. I wish Mario was in that game. <laughs> what do you mean? We have it right here. Oh, you're right. We have Shadow of the Colossus at home. Mario Hunter? <laughs> Oh god, he's summoning like demon versions of those things you saw in Cascade Kingdom. What the fuck? <laughs> I honestly wonder what the Ruined Kingdom looks like. Sadly, there's, there's not a full level, unfortunately. Yeah. It would have been really neat. Albeit, a little hard to make look right? Anyways, Mario just did that. Mario fought a dragon. I mean, he did that in Paper Mario, it's just like... I don't know, I just keep remembering being like... Oh, we should, yeah, tone down Paper Mario, it's too weird. Let's just have it to be like Mario characters. Mario enemies, <laughs> and then Mario Odyssey will have him fight as a fucking lightning dragon. Yeah, that's just always so weird to me. I mean, I know Super Paper, Mar Super Paper Mario was like a very, very, very weird game. I get that. Yeah. I get maybe wanting to dial it in after that game, but this is a bit... But like... <laughs> Although I do think Origami King is a great step in the right direction. Having played it. It looks alright. I just, you know, I I just really like the actual RPG elements of yeah. Paper Mario. Or really just any Mario RPG. Like, all of them are, like, pretty damn good. It's just weird that they seem to be kind of against that now? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where they're at either. Mario and Luigi was still going, but then Alpha Dream went bankrupt. It's a real shame, because they made really good games. Yeah. But hey, we're going to my second favorite kingdom in the game. But a fan of her. Bowser, he sounds like a real character. Oh, right, this. This is so cool, though. I mean, look at it. Oh, there they are! <laughs> it's my favorite enemy in the oh, game. My God. I this music is so sick. Oh, motherfucker, that's really there? <laughs> Fuck off. I don't think I- I don't think I've gotten that one. Well, now I know that that's there. What's the tell for that? It just seems random. Put your hat on it. I think the game doesn't tell you. Oh my god, the fucking hat. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Sokaku! This kingdom fucking rules. Oh, it's a number switch. I get it. <laughs> you think Bowser does that to test his Goomba's stacking ability? <laughs> oh man. Oh, <laughs> No, wait, it gets better. Oh. Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. And you can, like, angle his beak in the nose to, like, fling to the side. <laughs> it's 
it's really good. <laughs> it's my favorite capture in the game. Oh, here, here, there he is. <laughs> wait, wait. Wow. <laughs> they fucking go, no! <laughs> it's so good. I love that enemy so much. You get either that one where it's going like, yo, or, or they just fucking go, no! <laughs> when you kill them. <laughs> it's really good. That's my favorite enemy in this kingdom. And in the game, they're just funny. They're just big, like, Bowser face ass. Oh. Oh, this kingdom rules. Right after the dragon, you get here and you're like, how much, how much stranger could it get? And then you see what Bowser did with this kingdom. And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> and the electricity sound when you teleport. Like, ah, it's good. It's so good. Also, the hats have little Bowser logos on them. They didn't really have much of a reason to do this other than it would be really great if... Yeah, right? Like, there's... There is, listen, there's literally no precedent for this. <laughs> At all. You can get a Hakama for Mario in this level. <laughs> As a costume. Why? Because it's oh oh. <laughs> oh. Uh. This bird has a name. What is this bird's name? Pokio. It's really okay. good. <laughs> yeah, I know you were expecting something like. Richard, but <laughs> you got Pokio instead. Although it is really funny when an enemy just has a really normal name. Like all those early Mega Man 1 enemy names before they just started oh, fucking yeah. anglicizing the Japanese names. They were just like, oh yeah, that's Susie. <laughs> and I'm like, Go but run that one by me again. Oh, look at the Bowser statue! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ah, oh, this kingdom's so good! Oh, oh please. No, you're not gonna do the thing! <laughs> I'll have to show you after the video. You need to see it though. It, it's important. This guy just sounds like a fucking goblin. <laughs> He's learned how to stack the hats now. He's getting better at it. Oh, here we go. I do think the Brutals are the best boss fights in the game. Just because of like the, the quality of which- Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, that attack gets harder to dodge the more hats he has on. <laughs> because it, it it its attack radius gets larger. Like the sound he's making. I can actually hear him. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that's how you can tell which one he's in. <laughs> you can hear him going into the head. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder if anybody's tried that in a real fight. Like, I'm just gonna put on as many hats as I can and <laughs> spin around. Cause that was like a fucking 10 hat stack. Oh no! no. But that was a cool statue. Well. All right, I'm back. Oh yeah, UFO hat. <laughs> I 
I think she is probably the most fun boss fight, though. Just the way you can interrupt her attacks is really cool. Because, listen, if your boss isn't going to be particularly hard, at least give me a cool way to, you know, do that, right? Right, yeah. That's what I've liked. That's what I like about Mario boss fights. They're easy sometimes, or most of the time, but like, if you're good at it, it's over fast, and it's it feels nice to do fast. Yeah, they didn't make that one much harder at all. Yeah, the 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 green one, the top hat guy got way harder. Although to be fair, that's because the last time you fought him was at what the opening of the game. So yeah, before the fucking title card. So it's like, well, yeah, I guess it makes sense. Anyways, here it comes. Yeah! <laughs> it's fucking awesome. Also, the, uh, those things on the glant posts there, what have you. They, uh, they do move to the music. <laughs> this was just so weird to play. When I first got here, I was just like, wow. Is that like water? Yep. <laughs> Actually, let's read the brochure. I bet you're wondering. I'm a little curious. All the music. Terrifying gatekeepers, don't run afoul of the stair-faced ogres that guard this kingdom. When they s oh. when they spot an intruder, they bring their huge mallets down, no questions asked. On the other hand, you have to admire their tenacity and work ethic. <laughs> the scars on their faces show they don't give up easily. The kingdom's architecture is unique. Roofs are made of heavy layered tiles that will not budge even if walked upon. They also create a uniformity in the overall design, enhancing the beauty of the palace. Though you can move along the roofs, this palace rests quite high in the sky, and if you fall off, you will most definitely die. It's not the surest footing either, so be careful. Hang on, there's a cutscene. I want to ask how the tiara thing is captive, given it can just kind of fly, but I'm already thinking too much into it. It's like brain bound to Peach, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, anti-eared. Ouch. Clouds being just all different colors, too. <laughs> Go to hell! <laughs> Me too. You know what? Whatever you said. Oh, yeah! <laughs> the fireworks! Oh. music in this part is so good. Oh. Now if you're good, you can actually stay on top. Holy you can crap. Make it back on. Yeah, though the speedrun actually involves doing that. I admire that attempt. This game doesn't stop you. It really doesn't stop you from doing shit like that, which is why it's good. There's more and more of the brochure, if I may. Statues guard the court. The palace tower highlights the inner citadel, and the gate leading to it is guarded by fearsome statues. The statues are fashioned after gods of wind and thunder. 
a perfect motif for a sky palace, and since they are modeled on Bowser, the ruler of this kingdom, they serve as a warning to foes here and abroad. Oh yeah, there's little statues at the... at that checkpoint area. And you might recognize what they are. I think you'll, you'll quite oh. like it. Pulled it off. Although, man, yep. it's a... Put up a fight since you did that. No! That's, uh... I like those statues. Those are the Tanuki Mario statues from Mario 3, actually. Yeah. And you can actually capture one of them. And make them bounce around. Oh. That's hoping you capture one they you're just stuck. Can he get it? Oh, it's tricky. They make you work for it. Yeah! Nice. It's so cool, like what you can do in this game. Part of the appeal of it to me. Does it not show you how many moons are here? Uh... Oh no, it doesn't- there's no required amount. Oh, right, fair. Alright, so the Brutals all come from the dark side of the moon. And that's a post-game area you can go to. They're moon rabbits, after all. Right. Ha 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 ha. But, uh, the brochure of the Dark Side of the Moon actually has information on all of them. <laughs> and explains what they do on their wedding planning, specifically. Harriet is the pyrotechnics person. Rango is the bouncer. Uh, what does Topper do? Client relations. <laughs> okay. And what about Spirit? What the fuck is he? Entertainer. Ah. Sure. I mean, aren't you entertained when you see someone projectile vomit? Yeah, I think that's hilarious. The smell of it really <laughs> makes me laugh. Oh yeah, and uh, this game got a bunch of costumes as free DLC updates, and uh, one of them was the Brutals. So you can dress oh. up as all of them, even Harriet. Oh, right on. You can put Mario and Peach's dress in this game, too, if you wanted to. That's a costume. Why not? Yeah, it's awesome. Here's an example of Mario in the Rango outfit. To make you smile. <laughs> the moon is a really pretty place. By the way, we're on the fucking moon! <laughs> the moon is a really pretty place. I know it's not even like a place Mario hasn't been before, but the way the game presents it is so grand. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> How many times has Mario been on the moon? At least a couple now. Paper Mario 2 and like this game. Yeah. Oh, right, he was collecting moons. I just picked up on that. Yep, and the moon has moons for you to get. Think about that shit. Well, now I'm just disappointed that in Mario Sunshine you didn't visit the sun. That game should be thrown into the sun. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I, don't, I don't hate it that much. I appreciate this place is called the Quiet Wall because you come down here and listen to this shit. Welcome to the last gauntlet of the game. This is where wow. you get to capture all sorts of shit now. I'm a dry wounds. Hell yeah. There are some shirms. Let's go! <laughs> I wonder if they have energy drinks on them. <laughs> that look conspicuously like urine. <laughs> Do they cry blood? That's a good question. They might. I just have hats! Yep! <laughs> yep! They're all wearing wedding hats. Even the Hammer Bros. And Mario's even locked- well, you're not locked into this- you default to it. When you get here, you get a wedding outfit. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's, it's thematically appropriate. It's only right to finish the game dressed like this. I mean, after all, the amiibo for this game is tad bad, so... They did a lot of references to this game in uh, Smash Ultimate. I just trying to remember how far apart they were. Oh. I, I love the sound these things make. <laughs> they look like they're pretty fun to use. Oh, they are. They're fun to just fuck around with because, well, I mean... You, know, is one, you want a really fun capture? Oh no. <laughs> oh, no! Oh yeah! Big! <laughs> Onzai Mario, let's go! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Everyone's here! Ooh! <laughs> I like the sound they made. That is still my Switch profile picture. It's the Moai thing with Mario. <laughs> and it's never not going to be. It's the best one. It's it's so good. Oh, hey! Hey! Koopa football players. Or charge Chuck, depending. Coney Island Disco Palace! <laughs> you really get everything in this place. It's just awesome to have. Ever wondered? <laughs> they don't reference these guys enough. They do show up in 3D World. Which is oh, nice. I have to play the Mario World sound. Oh yeah, the... Wow. Anyways. Alright, so this lady was a thing. Well, now she's given her chain chomp three hits! <laughs> oh, it's... 
She's the brood mom? Yeah. I guess. <laughs> Look, she's trying to knock the hat off. I love the chain chomps are just like what they are, but they just make like dog barking noises. <laughs> I've always loved that. It's just... It's just a bark. It's a dog. It's just a big metal dog. Oh my god, seven hats. <laughs> Actually, wait, is that four? That's four. Okay. Oh, she's mad. Oh god. Alrighty then. She's the manager of the Brutals. Apparently. Ah. I guess there's, the there's like a very weird catering surface. Yes! Why is he getting married on the moon? I guess because... And he invited everybody! <laughs> Look, everybody's here! Oh my god, that ring. It's Pauline, all the kingdom people! <laughs> <laughs> and one guy from New Donk who is just here! <laughs> <laughs> we came to support this wedding? Don't most weddings have that? You know, the, the part where you drop that guy you don't like down the hellhole? <laughs> I feel like the last wedding I went to that had that was really exciting and I'm also not alive anymore. <laughs> oh, more RPG, I remember this. Oh, she's she's tied up by the ring. So like most bosses, Bowser's got a second, but yeah, she has a third fight. Oh, immediately. By the way, <laughs> I really like it when games do that, though. That's a really nice segue for the cutscene of the gameplay. I love it. Anyways, he's a little more on his guard this time. And fire. <laughs> nice speed to that one. Just thump. Ow. <laughs> now, what's cool is that there are three different Bowser fights in the game. There's an extra one you get that's a little harder than this. Uh, once you, If you get all the unique moves. So, like... If you get all 880 moons, and your power moon checklist is filled out, you unlock an extra Bowser fight. It's nothing major. And you get a special little ending picture, kind of like Sunshine. Nothing that I would say is worth doing that over if you wanted just to do that alone, but... You know, if you want to complete the whole game, you do get something. Right. Nothing major, though. But yeah, most, bo most boss fights have a second harder variation to them in this game. Except, well, no, yeah, no, that's pretty much everything. I think the only one that doesn't is... Nope! There isn't any. Madame Brood is the only one that... That that lady with the big chain jump, uh, the rabbit lady. She's the only one that can't be fought, like, easily. Like, you have to go back to that area uh. to fight her. 
I think there is actually a fast way there if you go back from the wedding hall. It's just the other boss refights are in a post-game area. Because you go to the Mushroom Kingdom in the post-game. Anyways, are you ready for the ending sequence to this game? I, I don't know if I can be ready for what's going to happen in this game. It's... Honestly, it is a lot. And I I know... Appreciate the music there. Oh, the cube! Cosmic wave? No, okay. You, what Power the fuck are they? They're inside the moon? It's the post-game things that unlock the... extras. Ah. The extra power moons. Those are the moon cubes. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's looking pretty dire over here. What are we gonna do? There's only one thing to do. Oh my god. Oh yeah! Every capture's been leading up to the big one. Oh, this one's good. He's full of root beer. <laughs> Was there just like a Mario World sprite? Yep. Now, yes, you get the fucking play as Bowser. <laughs> and it. And he's got a triple jump! <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, it's awesome. He's got like actual movement. Oh man. Good. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking Peach riding his back. <laughs> oh, the, <laughs> the skid sound. This is awesome. Oh my god. It's, it's about to get even better. I, I know, it's hard to believe. <laughs> the ending to this game is incredible. Maybe one of the best Mario endings of all time. What? So remember when I said this game has like songs with lyrics? Oh, you meant multiple. Yep. This is like, it's amazing. It's like aesthetically just kind of like... Just bizarre. <laughs> like, I love it, but I also just have to acknowledge that it's just completely... Like, everything is like squares? I don't know what's going on with the moon. It's fucking weird. Shit's strange. It reminds me of, like, Twilight Princess, but, like, not dark. Beat that shit, yeah! Ah! Like, what are we doing? Oh, I like the Bowser theme? What Everyone in the wedding halls is like, what? Is the wedding over? Namario does stay in the costume you put him in. 
So you could have him dressed <laughs> kind of funny. I'm here. <laughs> Hello. That's the flower that makes you go fast. The choice is obvious. One of them will damage you, the other one makes you quicker. So that's oh. Super Mario Odyssey. Oh, uh, what more wow. do I say? This game fucking rules. You're not kidding. This um, this set the bar really high for me, cause now I'm like. Oh yeah, you get this whole slideshow of shit that happened in the game, so you can piece together this all happened in the same game. It really helps, <laughs> doesn't it? Oh look, there's the thing that he didn't do in the video. Uh, if you dress Mario up in that costume, he can play the mariachi to get a move. <laughs> there's fishing. Uh, oh my god. This slideshow is great. It might show off some of the shit we haven't seen. Uh, so in the woods area, if you fall off, you get into this place called the Deep Woods, and there's a T-Rex of the hat down there. <laughs> the, the mightiest enemy of all. Yeah, it's pretty scary. I feel like I didn't say enough during this commentary because I was just being kind of wowed by how kind of great this was. Yeah, no, it's fine. I, it's, it's a game that is honestly completely worth experiencing whether it's through a video or through playing it because like Oh, there's the, the new dog costume! <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's Scooter? You can ride the Scooter. Yeah, okay, there's a pool, and that radio plays uh, Mario World music. Nice. There's the beach volleyball minigame. With the cheap cheap. Super Mario Extreme Volleyball. Oh god. I mean, his his nipples are out in that one costume. <laughs> yeah, the seal people, oh my god. That's blood. Oh, the parka! <laughs> <laughs> There's so many costumes in this game. There's the Chef Mario, the Yoshi's Cookie. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's that, that happened. <laughs> that just <laughs> happened, and then it was just like, alright. There was only, like, a, like, lead up, or, like, like, it just, he just, like, beats the shit out of a dragon, and then it's just like, alright, well, that was weird, anyway. Yeah, <laughs> time to get back to what I was doing. Get back to my game, I don't know what the fuck that was. Yeah, what the fuck? Did I get lost? Did I make a left turn into From Software? Like, are you out of here now? <laughs> Like, I feel like I walked into the wrong building. Oh, and look! Look where it is! You get to go there. Now you get the game. <laughs> nice. Kind of weird. All the stars play the 64 jingle. And you pick them up there. Ah. Then the game's like, thanks for playing. And I think it shows you a little... Hey, there it is. The 2017 cut of that voice clip. <laughs> oh. So, the the astute eyes. Oh, the fro oh, they have top hats. <laughs> yeah. uh, the, the the astute eyes may notice that uh, those cubes that were hanging out were just kind of like completely uninteractable objects. But uh, now you can hit them and just 
<laughs> oh right, too. When you beat the game, you you uh you unlock uh the ability to play any song you want anywhere. Oh nice. Like it's a sound test, but it's also like if you want to put music on while you're hunting for extra collectibles, you can just play whatever song you want. Sorry, I was being distracted by the fact this is four years old now. <laughs> yeah. Wow. All right, so before you end the recording, I do feel the need to mention that there are post-game moons and a whole set of them for every kingdom. Like, one, there's one per kingdom where it's just if you find Peach, she's just there on vacation, and she's dressed up regionally. <laughs> she's got a costume for every kingdom. But yeah, I think that's that's a satisfactory experience of this game. What do you think? <laughs> That was great, wow. I think I actually really wish I was playing this. And I actually might. <laughs>